Um, I think that why the band has lasted for so long and 10 years, that's a, a good stint for a, a band to, to stay together that long. Um, I think we just, we don't do too many gigs. We're, we're happy to do two a month and um, we still look forward to the gigs. If we were playing every week, I think we'd just look at it a different way and it'd probably be a bit of a chore then, but at the moment we still look forward to every gig that we do. Hobart-based rock and roll band 24-7 formed in 2005 by frontman Norm Moraldo and rhythm guitarist Scott Thompson. Both have been friends for over 30 years, creating the band from a love they both shared for music. Jacob grew up around the band and always dreamed of drumming for 24-7. His dream was about to come true. Jacob's been wanting to get in this band for a long time and I said mate, practice and you, you will be in it one day and while he's there and he's playing drums exceptionally well, uh, it's a, a real honour to play with your child, uh, not many people get to do that in their lifetime and um, yeah, he's made me very proud. First thing a lot of people notice is probably that the lead singer looks a lot like me, it's actually because he's my dad and I'm lucky enough to play with him in the band and it's an awesome experience, wouldn't change it for the world, it's awesome. I was introduced to these guys, I would have been about 19, um, pretty much by chance. Just through a mate of mine, we went together and had a practice and uh, yeah, everything gelled, we kept them going and, and here we are now. Brent's been with us since she was 20 years old and has developed, in my opinion, into one of the best lead guitarists in Hobart. Uh, he puts on a show, he just doesn't just play his guitar, he puts on a show, he wants everybody to have a great time. I've always played through martial amps, just for the pure rock tone. Um, there's nothing quite like it, I don't think. Um, martial and Les Paul, all the way, rock and roll. Uh, I do play the Jackson a bit, just for the Floyd Rose, for a few whammy tricks and just to be a bit of a wanker, it's, it's good fun. 24-7's yeah. journey has been long and has stood out from the rest of the local bands in Tasmania. It takes a lot of preparation for one show, the band having over $100,000 of equipment and their own crew to help with the night. So a day for us generally starts at about uh, lunchtime for our 24-7 show. We, we all turn up at our warehouse, we load up the truck um, with a full rig, which is a full production PA. We don't play with speakers on sticks or little subs. It's a full full production show. It's got lights, it's got smoke. If we're outside, we've got fire, um, flamethrowers, you name it, we got it, we bring it. Um, it takes us about four hours to get it all set up, sound check it and get it ready to go and then we give it our all for three 45 minute sets. Then at the end of the night, you know, fairly exhausted, but we pack her all up, it takes about an hour and a half to pack the show down, get it back to the uh, warehouse and pack it away. About three o'clock in the morning we, we say good night to each other and off we go home.
mate. Welcome back to Hitman Productions with the Queen's Head, North Hobart, Elizabeth Street. Having a great night with two lovely girls. What's your name, girls? Sophie. Charlotte. Sophie and Charlotte. How's the night going, girls? Good. Yeah, love it. Big night? Yeah. What do you think of the band? 24-7 rocking out there. They're awesome. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt Cody with Pitman Productions. Welcome to the beautiful North Hobart. I'm with the lovely Nina. Hi. Nina, how's your night going? Very, very good. Thank you. And what do you think of the band? 24-7, it's they're massive. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. my God. The music is so good. Yeah, it's a fat sound, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's yeah. So, it just, it, I love it. And you can dance to it, hear it. It's just, it's amazing. Yeah, good it. band, good band. Love very it, love it. Band. What are you off to tonight after this? Here, you couldn't I be going know. anywhere. That's no, right. It's 24-7 a here? plan. Yeah, all right. Everyone, come down 24 7. Amazing. Cameraman, pan in there. Pan in there, have a look at them. Yes, they're so good. We have two crew for 24 7. We have a lighting engineer and a sound engineer. The sound engineer, his job is to make sure we sound as good as possible out front. So if it's too loud, whinge at him, don't whinge at us. It's never the band's fault if it's too loud. So all we do is uh, he sound checks us. We play through monitors, all we hear is the on-stage sound. What you hear is totally different to what we hear. Um, we have a, a lighting engineer. His job is to make us look good, make the show look good. He's the choreograph, the, um, the lights, the smoke, the flames, if we've got flames outside, um, and hopefully not set us on fire or set you on fire. But no, it hasn't happened yet, so it probably not can't be. Playing for over nine years, the band has toured Tasmania and Victoria, performing in front of sellout crowds. In 2013, they took a 12 month break, the bass player and drummer taking a different direction and departing. The band was soon looking for new members. With current members Norm, Tomo, Brent, and now Jacob, the guys were looking for a new bass player. Ted Teddington was always a fan of 24 7 and admired their presence on stage. When he learned there was a position for a bass player, he auditioned and got the job. No, they were looking for a bass player and um, I've been chasing them for years to get in this band because they are uh, one of the best bands in Hobart, well, the best band in Tasmania. Um, they put on a big show, lights, sound, stage, so yeah, yeah I want to be part of that. With six months of rehearsing, the band were excited to get back on stage. They had a new lineup, new songs, and a whole new look. In November 2014, they decided to present the new band at their home ground, the Margate Tavern, instantly selling out. Good evening, Queen's Head. It's good to be home. Are you sure? 24-7's journey has been long and has stood out from the rest of the local bands in Tasmania. Um, yeah, it all started with me back when I was about 15 year, years old at um, a cricket function that I was at and we had a band there and the whole night I just looked at the band and I thought, yep, that's what I want to do. And um, got more serious with the guitar and um, just just learn a bit more on the guitar and just went with it and got a band together at high school in about grade nine and that's where I met Norm, been playing together ever since. Alright I'm with Mick at the Queen's Head watching 24-7 rocking out. Mate how do you know the band, are you a follower? 
Uh, yeah, I've been a follower for a long, long time now. Yeah. Not my best mate, so... Yeah, right oh, loving it. Yeah. yeah. What do you love about the band so much? The just, repertoire? And that and um, just to watch Jake play with his dad. Yeah, fantastic. Full on. It's, good, it's a good relationship. It is. You can see it on stage, you can hear it in their music, that yeah. feel. It's got a good vibe, hasn't it? And it's good just pub rock. Like, yeah, it is. It stuff is. Stuff that dies. You can't... They've got a real presence on stage, haven't they? They have. And you don't find it anywhere else. Well, you don't. No. No. The pub, I think the pub bands are dying slowly, but you hear these guys and you see them, you think, yeah! The Loving pub, it. The pub, the, the pub bands died in the 80s. Yeah. And these guys have always kept going. They've so. powered on. Yeah, yeah, they have. Yeah. It's just good, good rock. Oh, it's a ripper rock. Yeah. yeah. It's fat sound, isn't it? Yeah. Big, yeah. loud, just... Just like being at a concert. What's your favourite songs? Where? Oh, look. All of them. Yeah? I just love listening to all their yeah. stuff. Yeah. Great. Love yeah. it, mate. Yeah. Well, Mick, thanks very much. Thanks, Mark. Mate, appreciate your time. No worries. Thanks. Hit me in productions. I'm Matt. I think the secret of 24-7 is the passion. You know, it, um, everybody's just so passionate about, about the style of music that we play. We've got no rock stars in our band, nobody that thinks they're better than anybody else. So we're just a bunch of guys who love to play music and want to play the music to the best of its ability and, um, and give everybody the best possible time that they can have. So, you know, look, 24-7, I, I want to play this band um, as far as I can take it. I want to take it as far as I can. I think this band's got heaps of potential. Um, we... We just want to bring it, you know. If if they're going to wheel me out in a wheelchair and I'm still having fun, well then wheel me out in a wheelchair, you know. When the wife tells me I'm looking silly, well, it's probably time for me to stop, you know. So <laughs> that's, that's just the way it is. I just love to perform. I love to perform. And the rest of the boys do too. So, you know, we're just a good, fun bunch of blokes. <laughs> Twenty Four Seven's passion to continue the pub scene will grow. They intend to write original material and to produce their own album. If you want the live pub rock experience, come and see us. Twenty Four Seven, we'll rock your socks off. <laughs> Don't change a thing for me.